see. We got a little more time for we got to take a break. After 15 months without an official visitor on the Indiana campus, live recruiting visits begin this month. And June 1st marks the end of the dead period, meaning recruiting prospects. They're allowed to take their visits. As we said earlier, the coaches are busy. They're out scattered about, whether it's football, basketball, doesn't matter. Uh, they're everywhere. Uh, Indiana's first visitor on campus was Tuesday, June 1st, as commit Tamar Bates got the first glimpse of what Bloomington was like. We saw the picture he sent out, his family at the sample gates, uh, pointed that out yesterday. Uh, the biggest question surrounding Mike Woodson, Mike Woodson's, Woodson's hire was the lack of college basketball coaching experience, which to me is a joke. Um, it, it's basketball, man. College basketball has has become it, it, it is 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 evolving. Yeah. So I mean, that, that, that's what Winston said when he got hired, right, was basketball is basketball. He's here to teach basketball. And, yeah, they, they, the level, he's not teaching NBA players anymore, but it's it's still teaching the game. And maybe there are some concepts that he's going to have to go over a little bit more heavily that NBA players maybe know by second nature. But it's basketball. It's He's not speaking a foreign language here. And now the depth – that is going to be on this roster is one that has not been seen in, 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 in a few years. Um, last year, you knew exactly who was going to start. You knew who was going to play about how many minutes you knew who the few that were going to come off the bench. That is out the door. Now um, there's a few guys where I will guess who will start trace Jackson Davis, of course, other than that, I don't know. Um, we we genuinely do not know what the rotations are going to look like next year. I mean, there are seven new new faces on this team. We we have no idea, or six or seven. We we have no idea what the rotations are going to look like next year, outside of Trace Jackson Davis being slotted in at power forward um, and, and having the center position figured out because because they brought in uh, Dur the transfer, um, and, and who's basically the only center on the roster at this point. Outside of that, we 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 don't know. Well, also because you don't know who's going to improve. Once they get here and start playing, they don't know. Because once they go from June through July into August, September, you get those months in now. You get those reps in now. Somebody's game can change by by having the right person make a, a right adjustment. One, It could be one thing. Who knows? But they don't know because there's development that is going to happen over the next three months. There's team development and player individual development that is going to happen over the next three months. Like it hasn't happened in the last few years here. Uh, but part of that are new faces, like you said. So what role are they going to play or, or how many of those are going to be starters? Cause you lost a starter in Armand Franklin, but I personally think that Indiana upgraded everywhere they lost. Uh, I think that they upgraded with, uh, Miller Cop at that wing position over uh, Jerome Hunter. I, I personally think that that they have upgraded over Armand Franklin. Um, I, I just don't think he had the confidence to do the job that's needed to be done. Uh, getting to the rim, being to stand up when you got to stand up, hit a shot if a shot's got to be hit, uh, or make the pass that's got to be made. But somebody's got to be in that role that can do all of those things. It's willing to do all of those things. And that's a team leader. And I don't, they didn't have that. No. And I mean, so one thing you talked about, guys, that are going to improve over the summer. We, we talked to Mike Woodson last week. And what he kept emphasizing was June 10th, June 10th, June 10th. That's a week from now. That's when he gets to start working out uh, with the team a little bit and kind of observing uh, for the first time, really in a team setting as the coach. Uh, and he, he, and he seems to be extremely excited about that because, he is counting on some of the, not, not only hoping, but counting on uh, some of these players improving significantly over the summer. He talked about, obviously, we know about Trace Jackson Davis and shooting from the outside. But he wants Race Thompson to be able to shoot from the outside. He talked about Rob Finnessy getting his confidence back and really getting him to where he needs to be. Getting Trey Galloway uh, to be a, a better shooter. Getting Jordan Geronimo to be a little bit less raw on the defensive end and know where he's going so he can use that athleticism to get in front of things instead of needing to use the athleticism to catch up. Cause that was, that was a lot last year was where uh, Geronimo was so athletic that even when he was out of position, he was able to figure it out, but you want him to be in position because then he's able to be a destructive force on that. So th th that's only scratching the surface of the things that Indiana needs to get done this summer in order to have a, a, a good team in the fall. And, and Woodson knows that. So the coaching, 
he's got the roster in place now. The roster is where it needs to be. If it's deeper, more talented than it was last year. Now you need to go about molding it into a team. And that that's going to be the, the, the real test for Woodson. Yeah, every player has to be able to shoot the ball. And because whatever role you have, unless you're seven foot six, you're probably not going to be standing out on taking perimeter shots. But other than that, and maybe the seven footer, but a seven footer, if he can develop a shot, um, is a, a a guaranteed lifelong job in the NBA. But but for everybody else on this team, they have to shoot the ball. You have to be able to shoot the ball. You look at Michigan, look at their roster last year. All those guys could shoot the ball. That's what makes you good. With the when seven footer a, in the middle. Yes. And yeah. you take a team that that you're stretching them now. You're stretching their defensive limits. Uh, with a monster in the middle, man, you're 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 imposed now. You're imposing your will on somebody. Indiana has not done that. They have just been trying to climb up a wall for the last four years. It seems like, uh, but you you have to impose your will, and now they will have the ability to do that with this talent. But you've got to have guys that can shoot the ball, they can drive the ball, kick the ball, do all those things. Things that we didn't see over the last few years that I promise you will be changed now. Yeah, and I mean that—that's that, that, part of it too. Is it, Indiana is familiar with that, with with the way shooting can stretch the floor because it was done to them over the last four years, right? Like in Indiana, their defense was predicated on on packing the lane, and then they'd have to re- help and recover on shooters, and it would just seem so difficult, so many times for them to get out on guys who were open shooting from the outside, and it hurt them. Uh, we saw it in both Illinois games last year. Illinois was able to, to to win both of those games close, even though Indiana hung around because they were able to get some threes late in the game. And Indiana's defense just struggled to contain the three-pointer. And it just shows you how even when you have talent and, and discipline on that end of the floor, shooting just stretches you. You get into rotations. You miss a rotation. It just takes one, and you guys has an open shot. 